Okay, here we go. Wacky, wild, and wonderful, or something like that, but that's for sure what these are all going to be today. So here we are, late August. We're going to talk about witches. We're going to talk about skeletons. We're going to talk about pumpkins and Thanksgiving displays and fun stuff. So let's just jump to it because we have a lot of cool stuff. Let's jump right here to, um, very cool, the Witch of Envy. What a cool name, first of all. The Witch of Envy. Look at her. Is she fabulous with all these pink colors? Pink. Remember, we talked about pink a lot. We're going to be seeing more of it anyways. The Witch of Envy has got so much cool stuff going on on her. The large one is right here. The smaller one is on the rotating base here, which is very cool with the pumpkin. I'm going to, John, if we can focus on the large one, because it's easier to see the details on it. I'm going to move this little pumpkin away for a sec. But she has got so much going on with her. I mean, wow. Um, first of all, the um, pink and cream hair. There's white and pink colored hair. Um, I think I've told you before, we used to have a girl that used to work here that did her hair in all sorts of cool colors. Um, and so that's kind of the inspiration for this Lynn. And she's got some great purling that goes on, kind of picks up on the hair color. Look at that detail on the shoulder. Are we able to zoom that good? I think we are. If not, I'll bring it to you. He didn't know he was going to zoom like this, so we're moving the camera a little bit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, really cool, because there's a lot of pearl going on in there. Really, really neat. You can also see the fabulous sequins on this black and gold um, blouse that she has going on here. And then this peach colors with the pink jewels going on, the great uh, eyeglasses, her staff. You know, there's some cool colors that are added here. You've got a little bit of green in the staff, and then as we go down on the staff, there's some great, very rich blue that is in there, just a hint of it, and it just gives it a dab of color, which is so neat. And then, you know, all the layering and couturing of these pieces is just kind of out of this world. Look at these uh, end tassels as they come down. You've got ribbons, green jewels, so we're picking up on the greens, You've got the, which is the lining of the same piece there. And then this green lace with all the jeweled trims, different detailing. So it's got a, this is actually like a black um, safari style ribbon with some pearls going on it. I mean, this is just really cool. So this is always the fun part of finding so much good product, good trims, good fabrics, to work with is just spectacular. While John's got it on the back, while he's pulled back so we can see her better. Come on, lady, spin around. There we go. She's got this great part coming off of her hat, this great uh, sheer fabulous piece. And then look at this great lace. And this is kind of like a creamy colored lace that is just layered. And so you've got then this pink tone going on, ruffled fabrics, more trims, I mean, there's just so many different layers here. There's a lot of fabrics. One, two, three, four, five, six that I see right away just on her there. So just spectacular. I'm going to spin her back around. She's the Witch of Envy. Now I know why, because I'm envious that she has got so much wonderful and sumptuous clothes. Fabulous, to say the least. Great, just wow. Fabulous, great details. Her little sister is here. She's got the bat wings. Her little sister is here. She's on a rotator right now. I'm going to pull this pumpkin off for just a sec so we can see her on the rotator. Um, really sweet. And then we've got her on the base. The What do we call this thing? We call this the witch stand. So she's taking her last stand, I guess, on this here. All right, let's keep going there. So the stands are great to have because they're going to fit all the smaller witches. Let's see, do we have that? There we go. We can see it. And I'm moving it on you, John. And then here's the larger one. Here, these are purposely heavy so that your witch doesn't fall over. And then this thickness of the tube matches the size of the witch's to insert tube, whatever we want to call that. So the thin one's going to fit on the small, and the thicker one's going to fit on the larger one. And of course, obviously, keep them up higher. So there's supposed to be a little bit of vines with a leaf or two on there. There's a couple spiders on there just to make it witchy. And these are kind of... Uh, useful all the time for any of your witches, any of your Mark Roberts witches that you can use, so you can interchange those. So always good to have a couple stands because um, you never know when you need another witch. So, all right, let's go to, actually these pumpkins are beautiful. Love these, hey, you guys, you pheasants, you're next, don't worry. Um, these pumpkins are spectacular. I'm gonna push this back for a second and bring this forward. 
So these styrofoam pumpkins, everything is falling on me. How lovely is this? Okay, fabulous pumpkins here. So, and they are called, my papers just dropped, thank you, Brian. They are called elegant pumpkins, set of two, and they are elegant. You've got all sorts of lace embroidery going on here. We've got two different fabrics. You've got a gold sequin and a really rich uh, orange velvet. And we kind of didn't stop there. We added some purple jeweled bow and then added some accoutrements with have, which have more details going on. And then this uh, little rosette there. Let's see, I'm going to come right into you because it's hard to see. I'm doing this in reverse order. So you can see that rosette. Can I just bend this up? Where's the rosette? I'm covering it with my finger. There it is. OK, there you can see the rosette. This is hard for me to do this backwards. Um, because I'm not the brightest person all the time. Anyways, assortment of two. You've got two of these. The other one, the taller one, we'll call it, has got a green and gold velvet, and then that same rich orange velvet. And then the same uh, embroidered lace and ribbons and every details to go with that, that pull, pull them together nicely and just work together. So great to have to work with some of the other pumpkins you might have with your witches. I'm going to use one piece. Well, stay there, John. I'm going to use this piece. This one's coming up. And I'm going to use this small little darling little girl. And how sweet are they to just kind of sit around, so to speak. So these are great ways to, when you don't use your stand, to have them sitting about and having fun. So small fairies, boy fairies, girl fairies, they're going to both look great on those. You'll be coming up soon, my dear, and we have lots of plans for you. You're going to go into Hollywood. OK, so what a great pumpkin. I'm going to put these back. Love the detail on those and the elegance of those. And now I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up to another witch which I love this one, and she's called, I think the, the names we came up with this year, we did really good. Sometimes we have weird names for various things. The witches, we have some very cool names this year. This is called The Witching Hour. So too cool, I believe. Is she connected or not? I think Renee has her with a monofilament. He has her connected up there, so I'm gonna have to just leave her there. But what does she have in her hand? But, can we zoom that? A hourglass. A functional hourglass. Um, instead of sand, of course it has glitter in it. Uh, I guess this is perfect for <laughs> any Mark Roberts collector. Break glass in emergency if you need additional glitter. <laughs> okay, um, fabulous piece. Uh, she is, again, very nicely coutured. Um, lots of great detail. Okay, stop right there, John. Look at this fabulous detail, this trimming going on here. We've used this trimming on multiple pieces because it's so spectacular, but it just, it just dances. There's pearls and diamond-like um, jewels on there. I mean, that's really elegant. It mo there's a lot of movement, visual movement and actual movement. And then I am going to, Brian, if you're able to bring me that step stool that's over by you over there, because I need to climb up here because I'm not as tall as I'd like to be. So, cool, thank you. I'm gonna just climb up here since and see here, oh, this is so much better. I feel much better. John, look at this in the shoulders. Look at the details of this pink fur that's wrapping her. She is stunning, oh my God. And then this, can we see this? Yeah, cool, we can. So I'm gonna move it a little bit so we can catch the light. Let's get this great brooch that goes on, curls to the right, curls to the left. Again, we find some really wonderful stuff. Um, fabulous lady, the witching hour, I love this. And then this tie-dye. She's got a tie-dye uh, like cape, and it's got this same fabulous trimmings. Oh my God, this stuff is fabulous. Are we seeing this? Are we catch? Is there too much white behind there? There we go. We got it. Oh, this is so much wonderful. This is wonderful. Uh, if you get this, you're gonna love this lady. She is so spectacular. And let me make sure that this is gonna work. Yep, there goes the. Can we see the sand? The I'll flip it back and we can watch the, the moments in time kind of go by fast. Reminds me of the Wizard of Oz. Great, great piece. Lots of color going on here. There's blue, browns, greens, pinks, orange, 
Did I say black, pearl, gold? This is, this has everything. I love her. So this is hard this year. The witches are just all so, so spectacular. This is hard to choose with these. So I will be looking at your comments later because it's hard when I'm doing the show to respond to the comments, but to see what, what you like, which ones are your favorites. But I do like, uh, I like hearing that, seeing that, knowing that, because that gives us kind of some inspiration for the next season, which of course we're working on already. All right, we are going to jump now to, <coughs> excuse me, these, we're going to jump to Thanksgiving for a few minutes. And in our kitchen, hey, this is the first time we've used the kitchen this year in the studio. This is like we've not used this kitchen side. This is supposed to be our stove area. Um, all year we've been doing the living room, dining room, and family room basically. So kitchen, pheasants. So I have some old pheasants at home from a long, long time ago. Old Mark Roberts pheasants. And looking at these, I'm like, okay, it's time for me to change mine out because they're kind of, my older, other ones are kind of, for the lack of a better word, old and tired. So let me push this over here. This is, these are great. So you've got a lot of neat different fabrics. We'll look at just the one. But we've got uh, this velvet that's sculpted on the head and neck, you've got fur, you've got feathers, you've got another, you've got a damask that's going be, that's beautiful here, and then these beautiful pheasant feathers, actual pheasant feathers. So great, great piece. And then the mate that goes with that, uh, really the same fabrics used in a different manner with the gray up here. And then of course the glitter and the jewels. How would we live without the glitter and the jewels? I mean, seriously, how could we possibly? So I have mine, my existing ones that are, my God, 15 years old. They're going away at home, and these are going there. They're above my kitchen cabinets in the kitchen. I have a pair of them, and they're kind of just like this, kind of looking at each other and looking around the kitchen, and they look fabulous on top of the cabinets. It's just a nice addition to make the ca kitchen classy. We look right in a bookshelf or somewhere also. Um, really, the, special, the real special parts of these are the glitter, or the jewels and these true pheasant feathers. They're just really spectacular. Love the detail on those. Those just are nature at its finest. So, okay, I'm gonna keep uh, tucking this stuff over that way so we have a little bit more space. And we're gonna go to, these are some real classic pieces, these pumpkins. These are resin. They're kind of heavy, not too heavy, but they're kind of heavy. And they're very classic because you've got the acanthus leaf or the acanthus style um, top from, the word is, has escaped me, but you know what that thing is. So one in copper, the larger one, and then gold, uh, kind of a bronzy gold for the um, smaller one. When I say smaller, the smaller one is 10 inches. The larger one is 12 inches. I like them together, but you could easily use them individually. I'm gonna bring my little, you know what, just to make, just to be show you that I'm fair. Let's put this guy here. How cool is that? He's coming up, now you know what's coming. But how cool is he there? Come on, come on. All right, you know what? These are not supposed to do this, but you will find your position of balance and you've all gone through those same struggles that I just went through at home. And so it makes you happy when it gets there. Hey, perfect for this. This is a great way to accessorize your pieces and to really to make your what I'll call these pumpkins are more serious. Your serious displays have a little bit more animation, a little bit of life, and those are the great conversation starters. When people look at something beautiful, and I'll call again a serious um, decorative piece like these pumpkins, mixed with these more whimsical, fun characters, just kind of shows you have diversity that you're you're talented and you can do different stuff. So, love these pieces. Um, we've done these actually, we had these last year. Very, very popular. And um, they're just, they're timeless. And so, you know, they're never going to go out of date. They're not going to go out of, out of season, so to speak. And look how great they look next to our friends, the pheasants, our friendly feathered pheasants. Let me pull this back. Let's get some color going on in there. Very, very pretty. So nice combos together. I'm giving you lots of good ideas here. All right, we're going to change gears slightly on pumpkins and go to a little bit more of a casual where 
These may go in a more formal, on your dining table, more formal area. This type of pumpkin is going to go in your kitchen or family room. And love these guys because they are, okay, now we're toning down on our names. Fall plaid pumpkin. Um, not quite as wonderful as those witch names, but we'll, ha we'll have some more fun names. Love this. You've got two different fabrics going on. And we used this fabric on elves and fairies this year. Um, so some of which will be in the show, I think. I'm looking all around to see, not for sure. Anyways, we've used this. So it'll, it'll coordinate with some of your other pieces. Um, great, great piece here. Love this pumpkin. Set of two. Um, same size, actually, as those more fancy ones we showed earlier um, today. Um, but just a little bit more, a little bit more in the casual, casual um, look. But still very smart uh, with the jewels and everything going on there. So, a great piece that I next want to show is this golden turkey. Wow. Great piece, very substantial, um, all resin, there's gold, there's sequins, there's glitters, it's just as like spectacular. It's kind of over the top. And what are we, it's like 19, 20 inches tall. It is, it is not light. I mean, it's not really super heavy. Um, I just came from the gym, I do Pilates now, so I've got better strength, inner strength, which is cool. But... I can feel literally my inner body lifting this. So, so this is actually somewhat heavy. We don't have weight on it, but you can lift it. But it's substantial is my point. It's not going to blow over. It's not going to get knocked over. Um, when you pick it up, you know you've got something of value with it. So it's a great, great piece. Love the sculpt on that too. The shape, the movement of this turkey is just really spectacular. Pumpkins at the bottom, sunflowers, grapes, pomegranates, corn, fruits. I'm hungry. Just telling John I'm hungry before we started taping. Um, but, uh, you know, I just had lunch and I'm still hungry. What can I say? All right. Next here is, these are really cool. I love these. These, we call them festive quails. And look at the fun. Are we there? Yeah, look at the fun feathers on the tops of their heads growing out, little black feathers. Um, and then, the, you know, the necklaces that they have, so to speak. The uh, jeweled, glittered necklaces. And then... Again, like the pheasants, just a, a menagerie of different fabrics. Damasks, sculpted velvets, velvets, furs, more feathers going on here. I mean, this is just like a multi-textural spectacular piece. So these would go great in the kitchen, and I have a kitchen that's large enough that I could get the quails and the pheasants, and it's going to look spectacular. John, if you stop your camera for just a second, look how beautiful that looks just at the base of this turkey. You have got the combination of the gold turkey complementing and really highlighting all the dramatic colors and fabrics and textures of these quails. What a great mixture going together. My kitchen is going to be full. I'm going to have a lot of stuff. My car is going to be full tonight. So um, sometimes I get to take some of these things home. Sometimes you guys take all of them and we need them all to ship to the retailers so they can fulfill your orders and uh, there's nothing wrong with that either either um, but there's some really great pieces i'm actually it was fun setting this up this week but i'm actually more inspired now that i'm here working the show with you guys because it's just a lot of cool stuff and and seeing this as we just started to go fabulous watching that video so this combination is beautiful together this is now you can pull back and see the whole beautiful scene because that is gorgeous together really gorgeous and those candlesticks you see next to the turkey, those are mine from home. I might get to bring them home someday and enjoy them again at home, but I love them here too, so it's cool, as long as I get to see them. Next are some spectacular pumpkins. We just have been doing these kind of pumpkins for the last, I don't know, three or four years, and we've done new ones each year. And what do we call these ones? Couture pumpkins. Okay, they are couture, that's a good name. We did good. So there's three sizes, and I'm just gonna line them up here for a sec. Okay, Buster, you're going to have to move away for just a sec. Okay, very sweet. Okay, first of all, we talked about, we used this fabric before, nice fabric. Okay, I love this. This is a sculpted green velvet, spectacular. This spiral purple, so, so pretty. Polka dot velvet. We've used this. We, du we duplicated a couple of the fabrics. This green, excuse me, green, pink sparkling fabric. And this is like a... Um, 
Oh, it's a soft pink. It's a very, uh, it's a sophisticated pink is what I'm going to call it because it has just a hint of brown in it, which is, goes great with the orange colors and complements your purple and your green. It's just a perfect fabric to go together with this. I love this one. They're not all the same. We use different fabrics. You know that we're not boring. We like to use different things. So there's different fabrics going on on them. Uh, some of the consistencies are going to be the pinks, which I'm going to show you. The differences in the oranges, the greens, the black and white. You'll see different consistencies, some the same, some similar. So the medium size one, I'm going to stack this one in a minute. Medium size one, orange, this blue spiral. This is very cool. That same spectacular uh, sculpted velvet. Now we've got black and white Harlequin. That same spectacular um, brownish pink, which is just spec wonderful. Orange, blue and gold sequins. It's just wonderful. Green and gold, green velvet with gold dots. And then this pink, almost like a safari pattern going on here. Very, very pretty. So how cool are these? And Thank you for working for me on without, with one try, you don't fall off. I love it. So look how cool they look stacked already. Nice, nice, nice. And then the big kahuna here, the big guy, um, there is some additional fabrics added that we didn't. So we've got all gold sequin. I'm not going to go over all the fabrics that we already had. Okay, a, again, a, a pink velvet. This has a hint of brown in it. So it's just, a, it's just a very dusting of brown to soften that pink. Perfect for the fall. Big, beautiful black and white checks. This orangish gold metallic fabric and then other fabrics that we already use. So just, just spectacular. I am going to leave that one just the way it is. I'm gonna put this very handsome young man here. I don't know if he's young, but he's very handsome and he's having a lot of fun. And spectacular for coutured pumpkins. And then we're gonna talk about my girlfriend here today. The little witch fairy. She is the little witch, but she is not a little witch. That's her name, but she's sweet. She's not a witch. And I love her. This is actually why I love her. Um, Angelo came up with this or found this. I'm not sure what he did, but he did this sign for me. And this, can we get that zoom, John? This witch, we're good, we're good. This witch can be, we're on full zoom, so he's having to, because he's far away from me. This witch can be bribed with chocolate. Well, let me tell you this right now. This witch can be bribed with chocolate also. Love it. So I really loved this when I saw that. I mean, this is perfect. I know exactly how we're going to do this. So she is spectacular. She has got, I'm going to call it an orange chiffon hair, because she's got a little bit of blonde with orange mixed in. I mean, just great details then going on. She's got pearls and there's some pink uh, enamel jewels going on up there. I mean, it's just exquisite. This is, she's so pretty. She's got a purple, purple sheer with gold dot ruffle to her dress with then the gold and the black fringes and then a layer of, imagine that, a golden pink, a dusty golden pink or a, a hint of brown golden pink under dress. Uh, spectacular. Spec spectacular. And then her little sister here which I'm going to use multiple times today, another time, and we don't even have her wings fluffed out. Imagine that. How did that happen? Maybe because we've been very busy. We've been really crazy busy. So, Love on these. I'm going to just come right to you. Okay, cool. So we can see this is this detail of what's hanging in the center. And this is the little one. This is just the little girl. She's got this great, it, it actually connects inside here and we've added different jewels and trims. Of course, I would say this with Mark Roberts, goodness gracious, how many bows? We have or one, two, three, I think we have like four layers of bows in here. Um, I don't know how we get away with that, but it sure is fun. And it adds depth and texture and layer and color and just does everything for these things. So, um, And then let's just look at her boots for a little bit because we can. And I'm going to take that sign out of the way because it's distracting us. And look at the detail on her boots because she has, okay, perfect. Oh, wow. So you got that gorgeous green jewel right there by my big thumb. And then this black and diamond-like trim coming down. You know, it's very intricate and very detailed. And then some great detailing going on here. Spectacular piece. Love her, love her, love her. Um, she is going to be, I'm going to drag her along because I have a plans for her. Um, honey, you're going to Hollywood. You are spectacular. And it's going to be the little sister that's going to Hollywood, not the big, not your big sister. You're going. So 
hang around here for a little bit. Just hold on, hang on to this um, quail for a few minutes while, while we uh, work on something else. She doesn't want to. She's going to just sit next to him because she wants to be all her pretty self just next to them. So then we have, you know, I had to have an elf in this show. The trickster elf. John, can you even see this guy back here? Yeah, you can in the corner here. Cool. So the trickster elf, very, very cool. I'll just slide this forward a little bit and give us a little bit better view. But great, great piece, two sizes, and he's on, a, he's on one of the stands. I love how we were able to incorporate blue really strongly into this, and yet his primary colors are still orange for Halloween. So, so I'm going to actually start and talk about the blues, because he's got this blue sequin vest, blue and gold sequin vest with some diamond trims going on. He's got blue diamond cufflinks, diamond-like, let's be clear. So those would be like sapphires, actually, really spectacular. Um, coming down to his foot, very, very neat, because he's got a blue and gold sequined foot. And look at this great. This is a velvet with like a diamond-like trim around it. Um, button and then again one two three layer three layers of ribbons down there so lots of different layers of ribbons and then some uh, jeweling I can see it here yeah we can see it real nicely almost like a laurel leaf type jeweling really spectacular um, and then a fun festive Halloween patterned vest that has a little bit of black and white going on on it um, it's printed with some pumpkin faces on it uh, he's got a pumpkin in his hand, more blue jewels going on here. You know who loves blue. So it looks sharp though. And I love this face on this guy because he is winking at us right here. You can see him winking away. So he, you know he's got a secret. Um, you know he's going to be mischievous. And uh, so that's why he is the trickster. A great pirate-like hat. I'm going to just spin this around. A little bit like a pirate hat going on there. And all right, let's just go all the way around so we can see the details of this um, polka dot velvet light. No, this is a suede, suede, orange suede with like brown polka dots and this black and clear diamond jewels going on. Wow, very, very pretty. And then love this at the top of his hat. He's got a feather in his cap, some more trims and details. And oh my God, this is out of this world. This is insane. I'm coming up there, John. You can, I am not gonna believe this thing. And the small one has it all, so you're gonna go crazy when you see this. Let me figure out where the camera is. Look at this insane thing. I think Renee did this part of it, um, the detail on this. He found a skeleton with those jeweled eyes. This is insanity going on here. This is crazy. So, you know, he does have a pirate-like hat. And then he's got that little skeleton going on there. He is totally the trickster. Small one has it also, so totally cool. All right, I'm just going to set him down here so we can move on to the show. Great, great piece. Fun piece. And so now we are going to go, before I go away, we're going to go up above, to above the hood of the stove here. And love her too. And we're back to very cool witch names. The Old Black Magic Witch. I love that name also. I guess yummy. I like it. And this poor lady has one tooth left. One. So I guess that's the Old Black Magic. And you can see it. Look at that spectacular hat. The movement of the hat. Okay, that face is, this is a new face I believe this year. Really happy. It's smiling. Um, she's definitely a witch. And she is very, very cool. This great Okay, so the hat, that has like a, a teal colored sequins to go on with that. Uh, you've got feathers, you've got red sequined trim going on on the hat. Uh, this is, hat is just outstanding. We can talk about that for a long time. Then as you come down, you see her beautiful orange and black hair. So we've mixed colors really nicely. And then you see things like these red jewels that are going on in her there. And here, I mean, some great jeweling going on here. And then, wow, look at this. This is like over-the-top spectacular. This is over-the-top spectacular. You've got a peacock jeweled with pink uh, clasped purse and all this sequin going on here. And there is some, really, there's some like raspberry colors going on in there too, which is pretty. So there are some unexpected colors going on here. Is there pink and raspberry in that purse and like a chiffon orange or peach, which kind of goes with her 
detail on her pants. And oh my God, look at this. This is just, no wonder you guys, when I see them on Facebook, when I see you guys like ogling, oogling, whatever the word is, about how much, how great the detail is, I understand why, because, you know, I forget about this stuff. We did these last year. You know, we do the trade shows in January and July, and, but there's so much going on, I don't get to play with them as much as I'd like to. So this is neat with the orange feathers and that pinkish orange jewel. Come on, I want you to, I want you to fall that way so we can see it better. Uh, and then, wow, and it's just spectacular. And then these overlays, just spectacular, the black and gold, the teal and black. And then if we keep going, I think this is my, probably my favorite part of it, is this uh, leopard print. Is, it's actually embroidered uh, or sequined. It's all sequined leopard print. And then I absolutely love this gold satin. This is a really nice, thick, heavy satin lining. How pretty is that with the copper, black, and gold leopard print? She's just spectacular. So I love her, love her, love her. The hats are fluffed out just absolutely right. Um, she is the old black magic witch, and I think she's got some really wonderful black magic for us all. So love her is all I can say because, all right, so far I love three of the witches out of three. I'm taking home pheasants and quails, a few pumpkins. I now have to have the turkey to go with the guy. I'm gonna really have a great kitchen this year. I'm gonna have a spectacular kitchen this year. All right, so we've done that. We are now gonna, we're gonna have some more witches at the end, I promise you. And now we're gonna go to skeletons, which are over at my other shoulder here. And we're gonna, where am I gonna put this thing here? I'm just gonna stick this here so I don't lose all this stuff. First ones are called the Peacock Palace Skeletons. And if I can find the switch, I'm gonna stop it and start it. There it is right there. So as soon as it comes around to the front, I'll stop it right there and we're good to go. Wow, voila. So these are a pair, a set. This is how they come. They come in the, this is the actual box. So they come in the coffin box. If you've gotten the skeletons, you know about all that. The coffin box is wonderful inside because it's satin lined. And it's actually got a cardboard um, extra liner there. So they're tied in as if, as if they're going to get up and walk away. They're tied in. And what a great, so you use your box for display also. Normally, when we do these, Renee will use the box as part of the display. Either have them sitting up in the coffin box or something. But anyways, they're very fun pieces to have. And while I'm here talking about it, hopefully the stores have our gorgeous fall bag that is, comes with their purchases. So the retailers have these. So hopefully if they're shipping them to you, they'll ship the bags to you sometimes. Depends on what sizes. Uh, or if you go into the stores, go into the stores and see the cool displays because that's fun too. All right, let's go back to this Peacock. Is it Peacock Palace? Is that what it's called? It is the Peacock Palace Skeletons. I'm going to take these great flowers away for a minute, but don't worry, we're going to talk about those too because they're pretty. Great, great detail. So you know we, we wire these, we figured out how to wire these skeletons so they can, they can enjoy life and, <laughs> or enjoy death and um, dance and be happy and celebrate. So great, great colors. So it, we call it Peacock Palace because there's a peacock patterned um, fabric that's used on both of them. For the man, it's his coat, and for the lady, it's his, her dress. Uh, and then just, again, an abundance of trimmings. Love the greens that go on in here. There's some rich greens. Look how rich and sharp this green is, how it just jumps with the purple so nicely. And then, I think this is going to be my favorite trim of 2022. This pearl and diamond-like dangling trim that's around her neck. It's a great trim to use because you can use it in so many different ways because it creates movement, it bounces around as she moves, uh, whether it's on the rotator or not. Very, very pretty. Great details going on here. He, the same, love this really spectacular couturing right here. We've got the um, breast buttons and then the chains coming across. Really very elegant, very stylish. And then the, um, I call that laurel leaf trim, wrapping around his vest really nicely. Just great, great, great pieces. So. Love these guys, lots of great details, lots of great colors. So before I put them back, love when Jong does this, and I think he was the one who did this. He takes these bouquets of flowers, takes a dozen of them out of the box, and then lines them very easily. Doesn't cut the stems, just lines them all up, 
puts a couple zip ties on them right there, zip ties them tight, and you've got essentially a European style bouquet. Here's your flower right here. So it's a flower and two buds. And I think for a box of 12, it's 84.95. So 85 bucks for a, a box of 12. So you can use these in so many different ways. I love the bunches like this because he then just tucked it in here between them and the colors go great. Uh, it's like, sometimes I wanna brag and say we did this tailor-made and we knew what we were doing, but we don't always know what we're doing. But you've heard me say a million times, just get good stuff and you can do different things with it. So the purples and greens that are going on with the skeletons, the really strong colors, are then replicated in the flowers in a very soft and subtle manner. So very soft green and a very subtle lavender. So it complements it so nicely. And so I'm just gonna put this back on. This is the small size. There's a larger size here. This is the, how big is that medium size? That medium size is about, it's about medium. So it's about 30 inches, 29 to 32 inches tall. So um, around two and a half feet tall. So it's good size. Here's the little bag for scale. Our little bag, which is maybe 14 inches tall. So really nice detail on both sizes, the small and the large, both sizes. These, by the way, come with these great stands. Can we see that stand? I'm gonna stop this in a second. And hold on, right now, they come with the, with the silver stands with the black velvet, and those are heavy. They're heavy again for a reason, so that these pieces stand on their own. So you can, they do come with the stands in the box already. You don't have to buy the extra stands. So that's it. all of the skeletons will have a stand. The only items that come with stands in the box are the skeletons. The other pieces, stands are separate. So. We are good to go. We did the flowers. We did the Peacock Palace skeletons. And we are off to, I'm not going to do it, but these are the divine, the dancing divine skeletons, meaning I'm not going to dance for you. Sorry. So we're going to go over here, and I'm going to jump ahead of the camera, get on this side. Oh, we have a lot of fun stuff over here. We're now at the fireplace. Cool. There's a lot of cool stuff here, so we're going to have fun. Uh, you can see it already. You can see the magic going on already. How neat is this? Love this. So the divine and dancing skeletons are really spectacular. Every year I kind of choose, okay, which ones do I think are going to be the best or love or like the colors or their outfits work best for doing them in large or life size. And so this is one of those that you can get all three sizes. I don't, we didn't show the smallest size, but it's still available. You know, you know the small sizes, whatever it is, 20 inches tall or so. Here's the medium, like we saw in the previous ones. Look at the detail going on here. How elegant is this? John's stepping on the wires right now while he's zooming in at the same time. John dances quite well, because John is actually doing a dance on the other side of the camera. I wish you could see it. Um, while they're pulling the, ca pulling the um, cables away from his feet, and he's zooming in at the same time. Great detail on here. I mean, wow, spectacular. Look at this ruby color jewel with this uh, millinery embroidered Lights going here, spectacular. Uh, this has the um, sequined uh, leopard print going on. He's got the ruffles. This guy is over the top spectacular. I mean, really, look at this detail going on in the center here, his belt buckle. And then I love the black and gold stripes. It's black velvet with gold lame underneath. And then wow, as you come down, they're tied together. He's like a hippie almost. Tied together with his burgundy and uh, I think that's either brown or it's hunter green. Excuse me, it's brown. Brown um, fl flowers, jewel in the center, of course, green and gold ribbons, over the top spectacular. Um, he has to be because his beautiful wife next to him is so elegant. And she's got uh, salt and pepper hair, got great detail in her hat. She's got that, a millinery flower that's more of a bud, still jeweled really nicely. Feathers, burgundy satin fabrics going on in her collar. Uh, and then we're starting to pick up pink lace, pink lace-like fabrics on her. I mean, she's spectacular. Wow. And then look at this gorgeous lining. I mean, wow, this is spectacular. You don't get anything cheap. With Mark Roberts, you don't get anything cheap. We like to do the really nice stuff. I know sometimes this stuff gets expensive. We just like doing this, this stuff. And this is, what, this is what we do. We find spectacular, wonderful fabrics that are out there. We find the best that we possibly can trimmings and we put them together in the best possible manner. So 
they're just gorgeous and you've got a place for them they're wonderful so you got three different sizes in these the the dancing divine skeleton john did the dancing behind the camera sorry you didn't get to see it but i did and they're just great pieces i actually like these large pieces this would be great in an entry or at the entry and you know, if your living room is near your front door your family room is near the front door you have her sitting in the chair and him standing next kind of greeting a cool cool thing especially for the upcoming season very very cool and uh, how wonderful is it that she has this bouquet of roses i'm going to come down and at the same time i'm going to come down and we're going to look at her because she's got some spectacular stuff going on here i'm not sure if they tie he tied these in he tied these in so they don't fall off but i can just cheat a little bit and i guess i can go that way for you john you can see it better Look at the detail. You can see this much better. She's got the great pink. Look at her fabulous braided hair in this black and gray, salt and pepper. Really spectacular and great fabrics, great trims. Wow. Um, look at the detail on her wrist there. Just spectacular. There's three ribbons here, green, gold, and a chiffon, and then these flowers. She's just out of this world. Um, we're going to continue with her for a minute because I want to come down and look at this uh, embra or embroidered millinery lace and flowers going on here, and then we'll talk about the flowers in her hands. But, okay, I'm just going to get all the way down here and enjoy sitting down. I'm going to leave it. Look at the great detail going on here. So this is about 14 inches long. So there's a lot of detail going on here. Jewels, flowers. Wow. There's a lot going on here. This is really spectacular. And, you know, we didn't have to add this piece to it. I know she's expensive, but for the cost, it's just, there's a good value in this at this point when you're, when you're putting a big piece like this on here, because these are relatively not that expensive. Maybe some of the jewels add a little bit to it. But overall, the value makes it worth it, the wow factor that she has. When you've got this great detail coming down on her dress, it's just spectacular. And then color, look at these great, flowers. I'm going to get these to stand back up there. The magic of zip, zip ties. So once again, they zip tied these garden roses. I love this. We call the, we call the color red. Uh, it's not red. So um, maybe sometimes we're colorblind. It's more of a burnt orange or a reddish orange, but somehow it came out as red. It will say red if you order them, but it's reddish orange. Um, very cool piece. Again, any of these good flowers, you can mix them together. They'll look great together or on their own, but great, easy pieces to have. All right, while I like get up, which I'm not sure if John's gonna watch, make you, get you to watch that or not, we're gonna go to look at this great Egyptian cat that's on top of the mantle. So, oh, Lordy, I got up and he didn't get to show it. Okay, great, great piece. This actually somehow fell out of the show and then this morning, so come on, let's go grab this and let's put it back in. This is a great piece. I have a great spot for it. And so love this Egyptian cat. I don't even know where to start. I think let's just start at the top. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to say her. And look at the detail of the eyes. First of all, the green cat eyes. That's a jewel in there. And it just fits this gold embroidery perfectly. And we layered it with this red and diamond uh, acanthus-like jeweling. I mean, it just goes together. It layers so nicely together. So you've got three different details on this velvet-covered cat face. And then, wow, we look at this. Look at the detail up here. We've got this great jeweling going on on the top of her, which then picks up on this fabulous necklace that she has. I mean, this is, I mean, this looks like the Sphinx from Egypt, basically. Great trimming detail. We're going to see this trim somewhere else in a little bit. This, this inside layer of the cape is just like out of this world. You've got purple, you've got green, blue. There's almost peacock colors going on in there, but in a very subtle way. You come down to the feet and the, the legs are bound with a golden jewel. More details on the feet. There's two different little jeweled trims there, it's not just one. And then the tail is actually wrapped. This is the tail that comes down and around. I think I can just move this. It's hard to see because it's black, but the tail comes around here and it's wrapped with the golden uh, jewels. 
She's then sitting on this base, green sequined base, spectacular. And then this uh, metallic safari going on her safari or leopard print. Uh, and then the silver and black jewels, which kind of reflects almost like a black and white jewel, but it's silver, so it's a little bit more classy. Lots of sparkle, lots of details. The last thing that we did not see is the back of her cape. And this is a, there's a green going on. There's some blues in there and then this gold, golden lace there. And this is how we folded the back of her cape down in the back and just how spectacular that is. So if it shows in a mirror, you know, you've got some detail that's gonna show there. So absolutely love this piece. This is going in my office and I'm gonna enjoy it this season. So next guy up is, we're back to skeletons. And this is Fulfilling Life Skeleton. I guess they led a fulfilling life and they're happy. And here we are with them. Really great colors. There's some peacock details going on on here too. First, we're gonna look at her hair. Notice her blue hair. She's got blue and then salt and pepper hair. So she's got a great mix. And the blues just are streaks on each side. And then the salt and pepper is the rest of her hair. So she um, not only had a very fulfilling life, but she was very fashionable and hip and cool. So what can I say? Three sizes for her, for them, the male and the female. These come with the stands. Great colors going on here. Wow, some great details. I need to find the, the rotator button to stop it. I have no idea where they put it. Renee, you make my life. All right. I'm gonna just stop it right here. Can I do that? Yeah, I can, I'm gonna hold it, it's gonna fight me. Look at this great detail, Are we, do we got a close up of that? Great, great detail here. Uh, wonderful detail here. Brian's gonna try to look for the stuff. Can you see it? He's just climbing under there. Ah, thank you, you did it. Cool, so great detail with this lace, the millinery, there is gold lace, deep sapphire jewels, pink flowers, pearls, turquoise flowers, beaded jewels. There's lots of great stuff going on here. And then this ruffle with this sequin going on here is just magical. And it's, there's a movement to it and you've got two layers. Uh, she's spectacular also. While we're looking at his backside, I'm gonna look at his pants, his gold sequin pants. It's a soft, it's a peachy gold, which is so pretty with the trimmings that go on with them, just really spectacular pieces. So neat, neat, neat. We will then jump to the large ones, since we, this is the other ones that we did in large, uh, or the life size. So you have two different choices on the life sizes. And really very stylish. I love this on the man. This, this is a very soft um, sheer fabric. Peacock pattern, gold in the fabric, Really, it's almost like a tie-dyed peacock with gold. I mean, this is really spectacular. Peacock patterned, oh, look at this, oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is wonderful, this lining. Wow, I'm seeing it like, I, I'm acting like I'm seeing it for the first time. I have seen it before, but I'm just like, I'm rediscovering it, and so I'm like, oh, this is cool. And I love, love, love this rich, heavy, thick, golden satin that is his shirt. It's very, very pretty together. Great color combinations. And I'm gonna slide him over because we want to just see on this big guy, we can really see the details of, look at the crown that he has as his belt buckle. Is that spectacular? That's a jeweled crown behind a um, belt of turquoise and gold, turquoise velvet, gold fabric or gold uh, ribbon, really wonderful. Uh, this is just a great, great piece. And then, come on, kick your foot out here, buddy. Let's see if I can bend his leg, maybe in an inopportune way. But look at the details on his leg here. You can see the bottom of his foot. Look like I'm gonna put slippers on him or something. But great detail with the feathers. Just, just a great piece. Great, great piece. And then his sweet bride with her hair. Again, we can really see her hair now. And we can see how it's combination, just the blue streaks along the side and the salt and pepper. Very, very pretty. Lots of great detail on her. Wow, there's a great copper. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to create chaos in here. Can we see this, John? This is hair that's come through her 
jeweling here. And we can see the detail on her shoulder. She's got the ribbons, uh, this turquoise, or yeah, turquoise, um, like butterfly like flower with jewels on it. What I'm loving is this really soft gold jewel, diamond like jewel with these little clear diamonds behind, around it. Just spectacular. Really, really pretty. And then she has in her hands, so um, her handsome husband brought her some beautiful English roses. And we actually got the color right. We called it orange, and it definitely is orange. I actually like the orange colors. I don't think they're just fall. I think it's a strong color that you can use to accent in other times of the year, in spring and in summer. Perfect complementing color, though, the orange with the blues. How great does that look? Complements those colors really, really nicely. Um, and that's just, an, again, another bouquet of a dozen roses in her hand. Here's the flowers. You're getting the big open English rose, cabbage rose-like, or English rose, and then two different buds, a small one and a medium bud. So you're getting three flowers on there, plus all the leaves and stuff. Really pretty. We've actually used these this colors, or this flower, multiple times throughout the spring and summer, um, and it's looked really good in the shows. So I'm happy with that. And we will now go to, oh my god, another fun name. I think witches, we got, we got all the names of the witches done really wonderful. The next one is called the Queen of Halloween. No, that's not me. But she is spectacular. Love her. She's on a base. So um, who remembers Lucy in the Sky? I'm back here in this really tight corner here. Who remembers Lucy in the Sky? There's only a few of those that we did. Um, great, great piece. We kind of, that was the inspiration for this, was the pedestal base, the heavy pedestal vase, gold, black detail, diamonds, it just kind of keeps coming up. And then we actually did a pumpkin. It's a foam pumpkin that's padded going on here. And then we, the moon just sits right here on this pedestal base. And she is just spectacular. She is over the top spectacular. I'm squeezed in here, so I gotta be careful because I got another witch, witch <laughs> getting me from the backside. Great, great piece. Um, this is a iconic showpiece. This has to go with something really special in the home, but a great, great piece. Look at the details of the back of the moon, that the moon is kind of resting on its own pillow with some pearls and uh, metal acanthus detail. Once again, we don't skimp on the detail for you. The witch has got some feathered, black and white feathered furs. This is just like over the top spectacular. Great jeweling on her. A different skeleton on her center part here, if we can see that. Neat. So I don't know where we find all this good stuff. We are so lucky. And oh my God, she is too cool. All right. I don't smoke, but she sure does. And she's got a cigarette in her hand with a extender. Um, she's just the coolest thing that there was. She knows she's cool. I'm coming out of here because I'm being attacked. Okay. What's next? Oh, my favorite little pumpkins. I love these. Okay. These are, we didn't get the names too cool on these. Pumpkin Malty and Pumpkin with Moon. There are these two here. I'm going to jump around to the other side and do it from here so that I can stop the, st stop the rotator in a minute. i got a minute to do that. And you can watch this fabulous witch that's going around here with her spectacular happy pet. And we're good. We've got these great pumpkins here. So these are great, great pieces. And I have to, I'm going to leave the scene for a minute, but I'm going to keep talking because I'm going to pick up my little girlfriend that I said I was going to bring in tonight, today this afternoon and she's got a place in this so she's going to start out right here to start out you can start out right here on this and how great is that because the black and white just really complements this really nicely so my little this witch can be bribed with chocolate is going to sit on these pieces these are great pieces because you've got the the moon and the stars going on here the details this is just like great 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 details black and white so it's real classic and some great patterns going on here. The, the uh, top of the pumpkin, that word will come to me eventually tonight at 8 o'clock or something. The stem, but I know there's a different word for it. And just great pieces. So you got two different sizes in these. I'm going to take her off for a sec. Two different sizes in these pumpkins. The, we call it, we don't even call it size, just 9 inch and 10 inch. So these are great to have. If you get one, either one of them will do fine. If you get two, they're going to look really great together because they're going to scale nicely together. The larger one kind of goes up, and this little one is, it's not little. The nine-inch one um, is more even. 
so they're both wonderful. Love seeing the moon on the big one. And this is why they go together, because you got the moon on the big one, you got the stars on the small one, you got the polka dots going on, you have this sun-like uh, detail on the larger piece. It's just a great, great piece. Okay, I have to spin her around, because she's been, let's see. Okay, this is gonna be the hardest part of the show. Okay, I'm gonna cheat and take off something. Let's see, maybe I won't. Okay, her, this spectacular witch, the Witch of Fortune. This lady is very rich. I mean, how many rich people do you know have a pet panther that comes w with them? Hey, don't you come at me, baby. Pet panther that comes with them. So somehow this display got moved around, and it was different before, but I think as it rotated, it kind of moved around a bit. Okay. So she comes, okay, she is just spectacular. I'm gonna put this panther down here for a minute and just look at her, because she is, she is the witch of fortune for a reason. She is worth a fortune. First of all, let's just talk about her money. She has $1,500 in um, crazy spending money here, all by herself, just in her hands, three, three $500 bills, so. I'll tell you the story someday when I called the uh, U.S. Treasury about copying U.S. money. That was hysterical. It wasn't at the time, but it is now. She's got all these fabulous jewels in her hand. She's just got like she just raided her jewelry box and just grabbed a bunch of jewels. More jewels all over her, as to be expected. They're spectacular. From her hat, from head to her toes, basically. She's got this great detailing. Oh, my God, there's so much cool stuff. She's got stars and lots of great details in here. This is a spectacular, spectacular piece. This is another really showpiece. This size only comes with her own, she's walking, you can imagine her in Manhattan, her own leopard that she is walking down the streets. So how cool is this? This is a fur, faux fur, spectacular. Uh, it's got a crown on the top. This is very, um, leopards actually are, or cheetahs, excuse me, Cheetahs are actually very tameable, so this is actually not unusual in uh, India uh, a long time ago. They would tame cheetahs um, as pets, or the aristocratic people would. So crazy, I think, but you know, if it works, it works. So clearly she has tamed, tamed this guy, and I wanted to bring her over here because I just love, you know, how cool is she just sitting on him? Fits perfect. She is just like the all-around Hollywood girl. So cool on there. Uh, she fits perfectly with this piece so nicely. Very unique piece. The cheetah has the jeweling going on around his ankles. All of his ankles have the jewels. He's got anklets, I guess we'll call it. Gorgeous collar, black lace, studded with gold beads, a crown. This fur is just spectacular. It's really, really nice. It's a faux fur, but yet it's really soft. It's actually pretty nice. And she is walking him, so I'm going to take her off for a minute again, and believe it or not, we actually had this piece set up perfectly, and I don't know what happened to it as we were moving it around or adjusting things at the last minute. But how cool is she walking with her cheetah? Um, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Very life, very lifelike, everything. Her dress, we wired it really well with just the right thickness of the wire, or the gauge as it's called of wire so that you could just make it literally, I'm gonna do my hands, she's got a flowing, flowing dress. I'm gonna get this to spin again so we can kind of watch. Mm. I have to get this, I think I'm gonna put this this way, which I think it was at one point. I don't know how it got turned around. But, you know, first, and this rotating base is gonna be next, I think, yeah, uh, in the program. But so, but as she's going around, you're seeing all this movement of this multi-layered dress that she has. You can, she also is in a smaller size back here. She doesn't, the smaller one doesn't have her panther. But the larger one, that's why the price is more because got the panther with it. So let's get the spinner to go around while I pick up all my papers that I just dropped once again, twice in one day. 
And I don't think I need those papers, so we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, cool. So you can see the movement of her going on. I love seeing this. This goes around the jeweling and everything. And while we're doing that, we're going to then talk about this rotating base, this Halloween rotating base. And uh, one of our very good collectors, uh, Steve Garcia, had sent a video. And I talked about it. I said, wow, that's very cool. I said, you know, we're going to, he took my rotating base and very cleverly adapted it. I said, wow, that's really cool. Um, we'd like to do something similar. Um, and uh, so we pulled this off and just a great, great piece. So the rotating base is exactly as you see, the rotating base there. And then the second story, there's a pedestal that goes on there. You can see that that pedestal is detailed and jeweled. We'll pick it up again. And then another layer. Now we added yesterday these jewels because there's hooks already pre-drilled pre, pre in there. There's hooks that are already there. So we just added some jeweled trim, which we've used on other pieces and added it in there for movement, for color, just for the festiveness of it all. Um, great piece. You can do so many different fun things with this. Uh, and this is where you use your imagination. This is where you just kind of have fun. And when I see um, videos of people's homes when they post them on Facebook or something, I love seeing the movement. I think it's very, very cool. It just adds so much detail to it. So we like that part because it's fun. OK, moving along. We're almost to the end. We have the Witch of Fate. So we continue with good names. The Witch of Fate is right here. I'm going to turn this off so we don't get distracted by this beautiful movement because they want to compete for um, time and space. I'm going to wait till we get it around a little bit more. The Witch of Fate is spectacular. She's got lots of oranges and browns and persimmon colors in her there. And we have her in three sizes. Uh, I want to say little, but she's not that little out there. She's fluffed out really nicely. She's got one, two, three, four. It looks like it's about four or five layers of fabrics going on. She's spectacular. I love her hat. Here she is in the medium size, really neat. Love, love, love this jewel. I think we use this jewel one other time, and it's really spectacular because it's pink and gold. Very, very pretty with these orange feathers. Just a great piece. Magnificent is the word. They've got these bat wings on there, which are kind of hidden, but they do have these black bat wings on them. But I want to talk mostly about the life-size one because we can see all the details in that on everything. Let's see. Can I move this table just a little bit and not get in too much trouble? Cool. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, as I look at her, and all three of them have it, I'm first looking at this fur. This is a brown, it's almost like a fox. This is a faux fur, but it, it is really wonderful. It looks like a fox fur color because there's a reddish brown in there. Definitely a reddish brown in there with hints of black and dark brown. This is a spectacular fur collar. I mean, this is over the top spectacular. She has got jet black hair like yours truly, or I'm almost a jet black. Um, I'm not sure if she and I use the same color, but she looks good in it, and I'm happy. I'm going to keep mine. Very detailed. Love her hat. She's got some gray sequins, oranges. Look at the detail going on up there. There's a beautiful red ruby jewel in there. We can just see that as the camera moves and comes into focus. Spectacular. Love her happy face while we're looking at her face. Just really pretty. Okay, and then look at while we're there, look at the detail that's wrapped around her head there. She's just like... Is she, she looks like a fortune teller or something. So she is about, this is the large one, and she's about five foot tall. She's at actually, to the top of her hat, she's almost 70 inches. So she's probably to her head about five foot tall, and then that hat's at least another foot. So we're talking about close to six or seven, six feet, five to six feet. Great piece. She can stand, she comes, she comes with a stand. She comes with a large stand, so you can stand her as she is here, or, and she's on a, raised up on a pedestal. So she can, don't use my height as a comparison. Or you can sit her, because her legs and arms are posable. So you can sit her, stand her, do anything fun. I think what people ask when we first came out with this, does the cat come with her? How do I get the cat? How you get the cat is when you get her, because she comes with the cat. And so this sweet little kitty cat, very, very sweet. I'm just going to walk up and pet it. It's not going to bite you, John. Don't worry. Um, and look at the detail on the top of the cat. I love this. There's a bumblebee there. So um, we were working on these, and like fun, I grabbed the bumblebee. I said, come on, let's put this here. I love this. So she's got the bumblebee, the jeweled bumblebee, on her bow. It's a gray with diamonds on it, and then this diamond necklace. I mean, she's just like too much fun. Love this cute kitty cat. Her tail's wired. 
while it's off, look at the spectacular colors that go on in here. It's got some really dramatic colors that jump against this um, persimmon colored sheer that is on her dress. It's just spectacular. So she's just like out of this world. She is wonderful. I think the most, uh, wow, there's more. This is what I love. The more you see, the more you fall in love. So the lining to this fabulous fur is this great red, black, and gold sequin. I mean, this is just, everything you see is wonderful. So w this is why we love making these pieces. She can hold her cat, or you can put the cat somewhere else and use the cat that way. But you're, you've got a great piece there. So another iconic piece, spectacular. Now we're going to go to, we actually have three more witches. And they're all great names, which I love. The Zodiac Witch on the Moon, which is, John, we can do this one right here. It's right next to me. There's the large one here, and there's a smaller one. But we'll just look at the larger one here. And she is just too cool. Uh, we did not use, this is the first time we used this face this year. Okay, I love her. She is, she's got a little bit of a chunky face. There's nothing wrong with that. She is happy as hell. That's all I can say. I don't know how else to say it, so I'm going to say it that way. She is just is so crazy happy. Look at that face. She is as crazy happy as can be. Um, <laughs> she's got her cigarette in her hand also. She's sitting on the moon. She's got a spider, a jeweled spider on the end of her hat. She is spectacular. This will go on your door, on your mirror. Remember I talked about even the small one in the bathroom. The mirror would be great, especially if you're going to have friends, family, kids or grandkids over. They're going to love that. They're going to think that you're crazy, but there's nothing wrong with that. Life is for living, and we're going to enjoy it and have fun and love our lives. Um, great detail. This lady is just spectacular, over the top. Can you get any closer to her, John? Cool. There's just a lot of magic going on. Notice that moon is happy, too, by the way. I'd be happy, too, if she was sitting next to me. If, you know what, darling? If you and I were together, we would have a glass of wine together, and we would laugh and have a lot of good time all night long, because she's very cool. Very great colors. This um, sheer with all this embroidered sequins on here is just spectacular. How do we find all these great fabrics? I don't know that answer. We just do. We shop, 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 and are always looking. And uh, Gina, Chong, and I do all the fabric, sh fabric shopping, and we have fun buying it. We have fun finding all this good stuff. It's usually a lot of hard work. It's hot, but we find lots of good stuff. And people know us now. The factories, the, the factory, the fabric factories know us and they will actually email or call us or send us Texas pictures. Hey, look at this new stuff we're coming up with. What do you think? So if it's great stuff, yes, we get it. That's, that's the rule. All right, so we've got that spectacular Zodiac Witch on the moon, two sizes. We're winding down here because we have actually, and these other ones are going to be just larger sizes. I'm going to take these beautiful flowers out of the way. They're just larger sizes. We did a 40 and a 48 inch of some witches. These I'm like 99% certain they come with the stands. 99.5% certain. Old Black Magic Witch is actually going to be this spectacular one here. Come on, tell me that's the truth. Yes, it is. And she is in the, I'm having to read this, my goodness, 48 inch to the top of her hat. It's a new face that we did for this year. Uh, she's a larger version of the Old Black Magic. Just wonderful. If you want to put something large scale, but you either don't want to spend as much money, like the really other larger one that was behind me with the pretty cat, or this size just works for your home, great. Smaller sizes are wonderful also, but where you have space for it, these are some pretty dramatic and fun pieces. 48 inch, and then I guess this one says 40 inch for whatever reason, but they sure look like about the same size to me. So the old black magic, excuse me, is like supposedly 48 inch, and the witch of fortune is 48 inch. Actually, she's a little taller, even with the pedestals, that they're different. But great, great details on these. We don't skimp on any of it. She has that same spectacularly wired fabric. Um, both of them have different faces. Both of them are just as crazy as can be, happy as can be. Um, purple and black hair, orange and black hair, um, fashionistas all the way, jeweling going on. Spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. OK, last two items of the show. Um, I'm going to just bring this over. John, you can stay right where you are because I'm going to cheat and bring this over to here. And how are we doing? Does that make it too busy? Or I can come over here. We don't plan all this stuff. We just, we just start. There we go. A little bit better to see. 
Okay, so this cat, the candy cat, the standing trick-or-treat cat. It's got the candy base on it here, or, or the velvet base to put uh, wrapped candies on. Black and white color, black with a little bit of gray. I'm going to call it gray cat, basically. Uh, and why is it that way? Wow, look at this fur. This is his tail. Look at this fur. This is a black and gray, very soft plush fur that you're seeing on his tail, on his hands, wrapped around his face. Just a great, great piece. Neat fabrics. I love this orangish gold lining. I'm trying to think what kind of fabric that is. I think that's a, that's a sheer, actually. So this, is, this, this lining is two layers. There's a, a peachy orange or a persimmon orange sheer over a gold lame like inside there. Great detail with this vest, the black and the acanthus and the, the acanthus details in gold on that black velvet. And voila, magic, what have I told you about pink? We're going to continue to see more of this. There's a great pink satin going on inside there. So you're going to be ahead of the curve when you get anything that has a little bit of pink in it because we're going to continue to see more of that. And then this is, wow, so this is the similar jewel that I showed, we showed before in, uh, but this is in more of a purple and blue, so almost like a peacock type colors. This is great. I love this. We double layered that, the black and white chevron for the pants, just over the top cool. Okay, last pieces we're going to see before the show. I know we're in overtime once again, but it's Halloween, and this may be our last Halloween show. Are these two... Uh, little Easter box there as a riser. These two cats, okay, they end up coming as a set of two. Um, the cats on the pumpkins, uh, some of the stores on the marketplace may offer them individually, or you can ask them to, you can call them if you want just one of them, because there's really not that much difference in them. It's really the necklace around them. You've got the sapphire blue necklace on this one, and the, imagine that, pink diamond, on this one. So you've got the scary cat. The teeth are not that sharp. You don't need to worry about it. But you've got the scary cat, with black fur. You've got the great detail here. We've got the purple ribbons, purple bows, black ruffles, great detail on the hat. I love this, this fabric here on the hat, this sculpted velvet, which is really like a royal blue against a persimmon orange. Really very pretty combination. It's really neat. So. And then they're both on the same pumpkin, to the best of my knowledge. No, they're not. They're actually slightly different pumpkins, but similar. They're very similar, but there are slight differences to them. So blue, purple, but basically the same. So the, your difference is the blue sapphire or the pink uh, diamond that's on those. So uh, some of the retailers on the marketplace will have them only as a set, and some of them will do them individually. If you really want one, call them if you want just one of them and just choose. I'm sure there are good people. I bet they are, and they'll help you out with that. So, and that brings us to the end of overtime and the end of wacky, wild, wonderful, and wagnitionist or whatever, magnificent. Um, so fun Halloween show, fall is here, it's hot. It's hot here where we are, and I know it's hot where a lot of you are, so stay cool, um, enjoy, have fun, celebrate life, okay? So we'll see you in maybe three weeks, and we're going to start the next season, maybe. We'll see what's going on. So um, anything you see, grab it while you can, okay? Enjoy. Thank you. Voila.